My name is William Dathan Halbert. I'm 36 years old and a prisoner in the Republic of Panama. I'm charged with various homicides and organized crime. I was made infamous after my arrest for being the chief collector and punisher for a powerful international cartel. For 15 years between 1995 and 2010, I operated as an emissary of evil and death. First as leader of a private right-wing militia in the United States, and then as an international cartel collector, and ultimately as executioner of said international cartel. Many people remember my fall and subsequent arrest here in Central America in the year 2010. I was captured by the Nicaraguan military in an operation that took place in a war zone in between Costa Rica and Nicaragua. From Nicaragua, I was transferred by air to Panama to stand trial. Here, I was remitted to Central America's most violent prison, La Jolla, and held in infamous cell block 7 in a maximum security cell, all alone in perpetual solitary confinement. My fall from power was drastic. From a millionaire cartel boss, violently dripping with power, to a lowly slave of the Panamanian state, impotent to help myself. There in the jail, I found myself without money. And without money, subsequently, I found myself without any friends. Even my ex-wife would leave me to rot in this third world prison. This was the most difficult lesson of my life. One day, in a state of extreme depression, I decided to take my own life. I wanted to leave this world. My life was a disaster, and it was of my own making, something very difficult to bear. The whole world, especially here in Panama, knew of my disgrace. I found myself in a man-made hell, a hell of my own making, without anyone. On a cement floor, dressed only in my underwear, I found a razor blade and was studying the veins of my wrist while looking for the courage to kill myself, when from out of tear-stained eyes I spied an old Bible that my mother months before had sent me from back home. Without knowing why, I took the old leather-bound Bible in my hand and opened it, and the first verse that jumped out at me is one which would become my personal battle cry and the foundation and cornerstone of a future ministry here, a successful ministry here for Jesus Christ in the Republic of Panama. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 15 and 16 read, Christ came to save sinners, of which I am the worst. But God had mercy on me so that Christ Jesus could use me as an example to show everyone how patient he is with us, even with the worst sinners, so that others will realize that they too can have everlasting life. Brothers and sisters, I come from a good family in the United States South. I was raised in a church. Although I abandoned a good life early on, I knew at this time about the Apostle Paul. I knew about the hitman of the Pharisees. I knew about his bright light encounter with Jesus Christ. Well, all I can say to you, brothers and sisters, is that Jesus Christ took a hold of my heart in that moment, pulling me back from the very gates of hell itself. Jesus told me my life was not over. In fact, it had not yet begun. Jesus told me he had plans for me, that I was to be used for his service, so I should stop feeling sorry for myself, accept his free gift of salvation, get up, and put some clothes on, and get to work. Jesus changed me, ch Jesus charged me with the distribution of his message to those lost souls inside the prison and the distribution of this testimony to you outside and, and all the people of the whole world. Jesus' message to you through me, brothers and sisters, today is... If a man as evil as I was, known as Wild Bill because of his proficiency with a firearm, could be changed into Jesus' servant as Brother William, all men and women on earth have the same opportunity. There's no man, woman, or child who is so far gone that they can't receive salvation from Jesus Christ. Today I spend my time doing God's work, ministering to the sick and dying here inside the prison, ministering to the prisoners and we're actually building churches inside, physical sanctuaries inside the prisons of the Republic of Panama. There is hope only in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He saved me. He can save you too. He wants to help you. Look for your salvation. Seek for it, and you will find it because it's a free gift from God himself. Thanks for watching this video. I ask you to take a look at our website at williamdathanholbert.com, williamdathanholbert.com. There you can see more about what we're doing and what's happening, the revolution 
for Jesus Christ that's happening in the, the Republic of Panama's prison system. You can also see how you can help us because we operate at the mercy and generosity of Christians just like you. If you're not saved, get saved. It's easy. Jesus wants to help you. All you have to do is, give, is, is give, turn your will over to the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thank you for watching this video.